She paid 10 cents for it, posted it the next morning, and it sold within 10 minutes for $699. What? Her 14-year-old daughter found it. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. I have a Bolo video for you guys. I am going to talk to you about big money Bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I am going to share with you best November Bolos. Um, these were shared by my Bolo Buddies Facebook group members. And the group just hit 100,000 members. How crazy is that? So if you're not in the group, definitely go down and grab the link in my link tree and come on over to Facebook and join us. If you would like to share in a video like this to have your Bolo featured, you can definitely do that. That's under the announcements section of the group. The format has changed. It'll look a little different in um, January. So if you share check out this video. It's going to tell you how to share now, or you can just go read the post. I kind of wrote it out for you. But instead of sharing a screenshot, you're going to share a sold link, which is going to help everybody in the Facebook group because people can click on the links and then go in and check out people's stores. And also, if you want a shout out in this video, just make sure to include whatever your store name is in your post because I read from the post directly. So those are kind of the updates. And just go ahead over to the Facebook group and share your bolo. So the first one here says Huntington Home Christmas Candle Advent Calendar, 25 days of scented candles. New sold that for $108.99 plus $26. I'm guessing that's shipping. Took five months to sell and paid $6.42. Brand new candle advent calendar. Got it from the Goodwill. And it's kind of hard to see what it looks like in the picture. Um, but you can maybe look it up. I don't know. Got this while cleaning out mom's house. Did a video with it. Sold for 30 30 <laughs> <laughs> Sold for $34.95. It is a dandy Christmas plush grandpa bear reading true Christmas story. Works great. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, anything animated. I love picking up animated items. Another from mom's house. Family thought I was crazy for listing this. Again, did a video and sold within two weeks for full price. It is a Mr. Christmas Away in a Manger Matchbox Melodies music box. Sold for $31.97. Yes, these are little music boxes that are about the size of a matchbox. And they they do sell. Uh, they do range. Uh, most of them are bread and butter, but I have sold those in the past. Definitely be on the lookout. Listed on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Ultimately sold on Marketplace with free shipping. Item was donated to this person for free. Whoa. It is a clay pottery black cat, and it sold for $75 interesting. Um, and they got it free, right? Yes. Okay. Got this Jonathan Outer Adler, Adler <laughs> Owl ornament in its original box for free. Picked it up earlier this year and it finally sold. I was asking 50, was offered 25. I took it. Jonathan Adler, um, I don't know how to say that word, uh, owl ornament and box, handcrafted unglazed porcelain with white satin finish and ribbon. And it sold for $25 on Posh. Found this rare voyage to the bottom of the sea thermos from 1967 in a vintage toilet and an estate sale. So I might've paid 50 cents, but the lid didn't match. So I searched eBay for a replacement lid and spent 10 for the right one. Listed the thermos complete with a proper fitting lid for $199.95 and it sold within a couple weeks for full asking price. Wow, I like it. So this is why those of you that are into selling replacement parts, a reseller bought the lid and made more money on their item because they had the correct lid. So that is awesome. Um, I just want to give a shout out to 
Pinky's Second Hand Store. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the video, but she sent me some jewelry and she uh, sent it to me so that I can sell it or do whatever I want with it. But this is one of the necklaces. So I just wanted to shout her out and tell her thank you. I love it and it looks so good with my hat. So I'm gonna hang on to this one for a little while. A lot of times with jewelry, I'll wear it for a little bit and then I'll sell it. But a lot of that jewelry is gonna be coming over to Whatnot. So I hope you guys will check me out on Whatnot. I do a lot of jewelry over there. Everything it starts at a dollar to five dollars. A lot of times I do grab and sell, which means I don't know what I'm bringing. It's just a pile of unsearched items and I'm grabbing a piece, I'm showing it, and I'm taking a picture of it right then and selling it. So um, it's a lot of fun. It's entertainment. Even if you don't want to buy anything, still come over and hang out. It's a live chat. You get to talk with other resellers and just people that are there to buy but I would love to see you guys on Whatnot. I'm Bolo Buddies over there, but if you're not on Whatnot already, you can use my referral link down below in the description and you can get $15 to shop. So um, that would be awesome. You don't have to spend that 15 with me, but you can if you want. <laughs> but I would appreciate it if you guys would come hang out with me. All right, let's go on to the next Bolo here. Paid $20 during a high mile yard sale. High mile. Hmm. I accepted an offer of $175. This lamp consistently sells for $300. When complete. My lamp was missing the flag. So I was thrilled when I was thrilled with the negotiated sale price of $175. And it's a vintage King America putter golf lamp. Birdie tested and working. Well, these are actually from October. I paid 20 for an Ikea bag of these. These I found in the garage of an estate sale. They were in a rather small, unassuming brown cardboard box, which looked older. I didn't look them up, but since it was almost a full case, I figured, what the heck? It'll be a quantity listing at the very least. When I got home and looked, there were three empty bottles and 16 full ones. So far, I've sold five of them. One, per one person purchased two bottles for 125 each on a best offer. While I was posting this, another one just sold for $144.93. Cha-ching. Yes, cha-ching. Wow. Wow. So 20 bucks for 16 of them, and they're selling for 125 and 144 Oh, what an awesome find. Harco Blue Ribbon Professional Conditioner. Oh, okay. I couldn't see the word in the... Okay, let me go over to the bottle here. Blue Ribbon Professional Coin Conditioner and Preservative. Okay. HCFC and a maybe lubricant, it says. I think it has something to do with coins. I don't know. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's only a two ounce bottle. That is awesome. Okay. Bought a full tote of new old stock cassette tapes for $50. There were over 300 tapes. I sold some when I first purchased and these were sent to the money pile as the seller had prices written on many and I didn't want to clean the Sharpie off of them. Well, I finally did in these and another type, also a quantity of 50 and these sold for a best offer of $225 and the others for $215. So they're TDK, uh, blank tapes, blank audio tapes. And a lot of times, if it's on plastic like this, you can take a dry erase marker and just write over it and then wipe it off. And that'll take marker off in most situations. And just so you know, if you guys are looking for that blue ribbon thing, the coin conditioner, uh, that is the old man's picks, as you can see in the little thumbnail there. So it looks like he has, what, 13 left? <laughs> Nina's Jewels, Bolo Buddies member. Um, memberships have been canceled, so this is the last month of memberships. Okay, this next one comes from Nina's Jewels. Found two of these automatic water shutoffs at a garage sale for $10 each and sold both to one buyer for $400 total. This is why I always open boring cardboard boxes. There's something sometimes really good stuff in there. And this is what it looks like. Awesome. This one comes from Childhood Finds. And both Nina's Jewels and Childhood Finds, they both have awesome YouTube channels. Definitely check them out. She said, I found a big lot of vintage Bluebird Polly Pockets on Facebook Marketplace. I've never found the vintage ones in the wild, so jumped at the chance. 
This one I have about $7 into and sold for $130 in about a month. It is the Sparkling Mermaid Adventure book, complete and lights up. I paid $9.99 for this at a thrift store while on a mini getaway with my husband. Anyone else thrift on their vacations or any time you have to make a road trip? Sold within a day or two of listing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sold within a day or two of listing for my full asking price of $64.95 plus shipping. It's Jim Shore. Jim Shore is definitely a bolo item. And this one is We Give Thanks. My 14-year-old daughter bought a few things at a tiny thrift store on their way home from Mon Montana. She paid 10 cents for it, posted it the next morning, and it sold within 10 minutes for $699. What? Her 14-year-old daughter found it for $10 and sold it for $699. You guys, this is a 14-year-old. She's a 14-year-old reseller. That is awesome. She said, maybe sold it too cheap. That's okay. She is very happy with her flip. I would think so. That is awesome. Congratulations. She did a lot of research and came up with the price. We are very proud of her. We love your videos and learn so much from them. My husband especially likes your positive attitude and personality. Our daughter, Courtney, best name ever. So her daughter has the same name as me. Ah, hi thanks for watching <laughs> has been reselling for about three years now and recently started selling jewelry we call her the gold whisperer thanks again for the motivation so this is a rare panino sterling silver rose gold 1940s large pin brooch um, flowers got this anime plush backpack for four dollars and 99 cents at a thrift store sold within nine days for full asking price of 54.88 it is a XXX Holic Makona Rabbit Black Soft Plush Backpack. Never heard of it. It's an anime backpack, and this is what it looks like. This next one says, I picked up this cologne for $5 at an estate sale at the end of the day. It was buried under some wrapping paper in the attic. I had no idea what it was, but grabbed it because it was in its original packaging and the sale was closing. It sat in my money pile for a few months. Then when I finally listed it, it sold within a few days for my full asking price of 120 plus shipping. It is a cologne. It's vintage. And it's in the original box. So I'm guessing this is new old stock. And it sold for $120. Got this for $7.49. And in the picture, it looks like it's in the Goodwill cart. And he sold it for $60 local pickup. He said the guy gave him an extra $20. Um, I think because it was local pickup. I'm not really sure. But it looked brand new. And the guy told him that it worked. So that's awesome. We're going to do one more here. Neko Castlevania figures. I don't know if I said that right. It's N-E-C-A. Bought them both in a grab bag together for $3.99 at a local thrift store, having no clue what they were. I figured at the minimum could get sell them for $10 or $15 each. Looked them up with Google Lens and listed high at $160 and lowered over time. Took about four months and sold for a best offer of $106 plus shipping on Mercari. Again, if you guys are not on Mercari... Great for plush, great for toys, great for jewelry, great for pretty much anything. Um, you can sell things for big money on Mercari. Uh, if you use my link down below to join Mercari, it is a referral link. You'll get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So that is awesome. I also have a Poshmark. If you want to join Poshmark, you get $10 to shop. So um, those are referral links and I have bunches of referral links down below. I appreciate it when you guys use my referral links that cost you nothing and it definitely helps me keep this channel going. So thank you so much. I know a lot of you use them and I appreciate you so much. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. Go over to the Facebook group and share a bolo uh, with the new format and get your shout out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.